Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Wednesday edition of the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So uh, let's talk about the day, okay? Nothing really uh, settled today as far as index confirmation. Um, we kind of knew that yesterday. If you guys remember from last night's video, um, I was talking regarding the beta names that I believe that if you were going to really, really press the beta names today, you were going to get chopped up. That's exactly what happened if you really focused on the macro group. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. What I like about today's session, although there were two names uh, that traded uh, on the beta side, okay, uh, Boeing and Tesla did their thing. Okay, we'll get to them in a second. But the majority of the market played out exactly how we anticipated today's trading day. So, for example, I believe that there was going to be value in other places. Okay, so I was already uh, in that mindset that I had no expectations uh, going into today's session as far as beta goes. Like I said last night in the video, if we were going to get pleasantly surprised, that's one thing, okay? But I wasn't planning on uh, a day that was going to be beta-driven. Um, I started looking yesterday at the pot stocks, which again, complete duds, man. Um, you know, I was watching them from last night, never came close to confirming, right? Not even came close. The, this is by far the worst group. Uh, one hit wonders, okay? T Tilray, uh, Tilray I liked uh, above 850, never came close. Crone I liked above yesterday's high of 720, never came close, CGC, same thing. So uh, my focus, at, at least at the open, uh, was on the pot stocks. Quickly, my focus removed from there, completely pieces of garbage, um, way pieces of garbage. They never came close. And then we started looking for other things. And w again, what's great about uh, being a professional trader, you your goal, no matter what kind of trader you are, is completely to be in control. So we had a choice today. We could either sit there uh, and try to squeeze water out of a rock very, very patiently, and there would have been nothing wrong with that, uh, waiting for these kind of beta names to kind of formulate a confirmation channel. Uh, and again, it would have been fine. But the problem with that is we was, there was no guarantees that we were gonna have anything that we could have taken advantage of both long and short. Uh, luckily, we did have a good game plan. Uh, we focused on a lot of names that had nothing to do with beta. And the most amazing part, I find myself now about three, four times a week, almost like one time a day, trading like a small cap stock. Now again, I, was, I would never trade a small cap stock for the sake of trading a small cap stock. But I tell you, when, when I see option order flow, and this is not the first time I've been talking about it, when I see option order flow, the same common denominator, out of the money calls, short term expiration, man, again, I said this a couple of, a couple of nights ago, I, I know eventually this is probably going to stop working, but it's working really, really well. The first move uh, into, uh, into the sweep and then buying it into support. And, and I did that twice today uh, with a stock ADMP. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm still holding uh, a runner uh, overnight. Uh, but again, what I liked about today was number one, we knew what we were up against, okay, uh, going into today. Uh, we did the mature thing, kind of not being uh, stubborn and being, you know, being uh, arrogant enough to think that we can, you know, squeeze water uh, out of a rock, kind of go with other places, trying to find value in other places. Now, again, you know, if it's up to me, do I trade Tesla tomorrow over a dollar stock? 100%. But at some times you do have to kind of go where the money goes. And I, like, they, like they said, the old adage goes, uh, when in Rome, right? When in Rome. So I think by tomorrow we should have some more clarity, at least by uh, Friday session. The reason for that is, again, if you look at the channel, the really, really tight channel that we're seeing on the queues, again, nothing has settled. We keep on getting rejected off the top of the channel here, and we keep on holding the bottom of the channel here. So again, like I said last night, something will have to give, okay? It's, just, it's very, very obvious. And I think tomorrow, uh, based on 
the legitimate amount of, of earnings that are going to coming out either tomorrow morning or tomorrow after the close, it's imminent that we are going to either break back to the upside or break below this channel and start uh, possibly testing this lower area. Again, tomorrow we have 60 companies in the S&P uh, reporting earnings after the close. It's the who's who. You know, we got Apple, we got Facebook, we got Amazon. Uh, we got Google, right? We got Google tomorrow. We got EA Sports. We got Gilead. We got Vertex. We have a million companies coming out tomorrow. So again, if for all you guys who are patient and are waiting for uh, a range confirmation, I, I have a sneaky feeling, right, uh, that we are going to be uh, kind of out of the woods, whether it's the long side uh, or sh to the short side by Friday. And again, this is the channel. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. We're going to talk about it again today. Uh, you, have, uh, you have 261 to the upside and you have uh, 256 to the downside. Like I said, something has to give it. If you are patient enough, uh, if you are patient enough, uh, you should get uh, rewarded on a macro uh, picture. Uh, again, two things I also like today. I also saw a lot of speculation money coming in. And the most amazing part about speculation money is that, again, not every stock needs to be up 30, 40 points. The fact that people are willing to chase anything, like for example, if Tesla's up 100 and you're buying Tesla up 100, that means there's a great sign that speculation capital is there. It's very, very bullish. But once you start seeing names like Kodak, right? And again, I'm sorry. Do you guys remember Kodak from the 1980s for all you guys who are even alive, right? Kodak film, Kodak, all of a sudden, Kodak is now a biotech. Now Kodak is uh, a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is it's everything, right? Again, raise your hand if you bought a Kodak product in the last, okay? So that's the point. People are chasing anything. Uh, Kodak, ridiculous move today. Then you have KNDI, again, a stock that was what? $3, right? $3, what, three hours ago? And now it's trading 13 and change, right? After the close, waking up all these EV makers as well. So we're kind of set up for a next, a next wave of buying. Uh, but again, two things need to happen. Number one, uh, tech cannot disappoint tomorrow or, or Friday, uh, you know, for, for Friday session. And the most important part is we have to still continue uh, to negate uh, bad news. And that's very, very important considering how much, you know, bad news and how much COVID news is still, uh, still very, very present. And again, economic woes is only in the eye of the beholder because the Fed at the minutes today basically came out, we're going to do and said, we're going to do whatever it takes, okay, to hold this, econ uh, to hold this economy, uh, you know, straight as an arrow. So the Fed will do it, right? The Fed is going to hold up the tape. And again, if you know this information, if you know the Fed is going to go, going to continue to give artificial insemination into this market, again, use that to your advantage. Don't be sell bias when you have the Fed having a backstop with stimulus, right? Have a plan, but use the information you have. Don't try to outsmart the Fed. Don't sit there and complain about, well, the Fed's holding up the market. Yes, we know this. Let's take advantage of that information. Until then, day by day, trade by trade, uh, the, the market ever since COVID is starting, uh, started is an incredibly fluid situation. Uh, day by day, new things are happening. Uh, again, sports is on, sports is off. It's, it's just craziness going on. So again, day by day, trade by trade. So let's talk about uh, the pivots today. Again, I, I think today we had something for everybody. We really did. We had uh, smaller names. We had uh, obviously beta. Beta is the, the focal point every single day. Uh, but, but again, the most important part was we were in control. We executed well. We had a great game plan, yada, yada, yada. We made it another day. So let's talk about this. So um, Tesla, here are the ranges for the day, 1512 to the upside, 1472 to the downside. Uh, we talked about for a potential, uh, in the live webinar, we talked about the potential 1530 move uh, off this 1512. And Tesla, again, just, again, not every single trade needs to be 100 points. Again, here is the pivot, right? Here is the pivot right over here, this 1512 area, and the stock spiked. We went right to uh, 1535, really nice move. Uh, the trade of the day definitely was Boeing. 
uh, for all you guys who are in the live, uh, for, for all you guys who are on the Twitter feed, uh, you didn't get the commentary uh, in the live webinar. Uh, there was actually a green to red uh, second entry uh, off that 170, 80s area. Uh, but again, the reason why I put 168 instead of the green to red, you need a valid channel. Again, you're not you're not there uh, in getting my uh, commenter, you're on the Twitter feed. And the problem is, again, I don't want you to go into a trade naked, not understanding all the moving parts, but this was the big level, right? 168 uh, was the big level. Congratulations for you guys who did take it green to red uh, off that 170, 80s area. But once it confirmed 168, gorgeous move, really, really gorgeous move on on Boeing. So here is the, the whole area here, 168, and just got absolutely destroyed, went down to 162. Uh, again, you, you could see this play happening. You know, if you saw pre-market, it kept on getting rejected off this top of supply. And again, if you don't understand where supply is, you're trading blind. And for all those people who are saying, well, Dan, how come you have all these different lines? Why do you have so many lines? Yeah, this is the reason, right? You have to identify where the supply is so you're not being an emotional buyer meeting a technical seller right at the top of the range. But again, fantastic move, 168. Uh, all the way down to 162 on Boeing. Uh, space, I still like space. Uh, space, if it builds below 23, this is the first close uh, at that 23 level. Um, I think it goes lower. I think if it confirms, uh, you know, it's trading right now on the, under 23. Uh, if it's if it's going to confirm this 2260 tomorrow, guys, this can be further downside. And this thing has potential moves, you know, somewhere between this 2150 and 21 level. So I do think this thing has a lot of room uh, back tomorrow. Uh, Roku never obviously got into the 148 level. Uh, Apple never got to the 373 level. Again, garbage, 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 right? Pot stocks, not, not even close. They, you know, we woke up this morning, they were all red, not even close to even approaching these levels. So again, one and done, pot stocks, smoke them if you got them, nobody cares. Uh, INSG, again, we talked about this last night on the video. We highlighted this, this, we highlighted uh, this name. Uh, again, $20 calls, short-term uh, short intervals. Uh, INSG thirteen dollars thirteen ten. Again, this has nothing to do with beta. And again, you have to kind of, uh, you know, you have to kind of conform to where where the value is. Conform where the money is available. Uh, one thirteen uh, one thirteen ten needs to build. So here is INSG. Uh, really strong move. Uh, traded all the way to fourteen bucks. I think this thing goes higher. Be really nice move there. Uh, NIO. You know, we started we started trading NIO opening range highs. Uh, I started going uh, in the seven, what was it, in the seven, 1270s. Uh, I, I went back in at 1285, it went to 13, it kind of got stalled out, so I made some sales. Um, I still like it, I still like NIO. Again, we saw 14, 15, 17 dollars uh, near, ter near term expiration on the name. Uh, just a little bit of cash flow there, but again, uh, again, let that be a worse trade. Uh, WKHS, I still like it. Uh, I scalped some AMD off this opening range. Uh, you know, stock went to 77, big move uh, after earnings, but uh, again, not the biggest move in the world intraday, but again, some cash flow is better than no cash flow. Uh, Amazon, uh, I think we got to watch tomorrow. Uh, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google, but especially the first three, because at some point, I have to believe they will give a really aggressive channel, okay, at some point tomorrow. Because again, like I said in last night's video, any dip, and again, the dip today, uh, God bought on those names, but any dip tomorrow, there will be aggressive call buyers in those names. So I think there is going to be value um, in some sneaky channels more, especially Amazon, uh, Facebook, and Apple, but especially Amazon, because it has such a big range, uh, you don't need to be perfect. So I definitely want to keep those on radar, uh, ZM not didn't quite get there. You know, got to like 259 and change, but didn't quite get there. Uh, INSG, nice move, great move there. Uh, Roku, Roku is my only losing. Uh, to say the word losing is very, very, uh, very aggressive. I lost 25 cents on uh, Roku. It just kind of stalled out. It really didn't do anything. Um, so it is what it is. Nothing, nothing really to talk about. A cup of coffee there. Uh, FSOY, big move on FSOY, 8420, 8450. Again, we saw $100, uh, August $100 calls coming in, uh, traded to 8640. I still like it. I think if it starts breaking above this channel here uh, in the next couple of days, it should go higher. Really nice looking move there. You know, two, three dollar move there on FSLY, uh, take on the way up. Uh, and, and then we started watching these smaller names, right? ADMP, there was a buyer that came in 
Uh, a buyer came in at, I think it was for the August 250 calls. Um, I got long in the 130s, flipped it, bought it on the dip at 125, uh, 125, sold some on the way up, still holding a runner, uh, closed at 145. So nice move there. So uh, crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. These uh, small cap order flows. Uh, what else did we do today? Uh, what else did we do today? Uh, AD, AMD I did today, and I always scalp today. ADMP, blah, 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 blah. And I think that's it. I think that is it, right? I think that's it. But ultimately, again, Boeing was really good. Tesla was very aggressive, and I always find uh, ADMP was pretty good. Uh, you know, solid day. I mean, really, really solid day. Um, I, I think tomorrow uh, we will definitely get a step closer to getting a little bit more clarity, especially in uh, the NASDAQ 100 names. If not for tomorrow, definitely to Friday. Again, we're either going to, you know, it, it's there's no room for interpretation here, guys. And this is where I think beta will really, really wake up one way or another. Again, we're either going to reclaim the 10-day moving average or reclaim the bottom of this 20-day moving average to the downside, and eventually there will be a really, really aggressive uh, measured potential move. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Good job today, and with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.